listen, I woke up to money. So my guy, fly guy, David Robinson, I went through his class and I made 140,000 in 90 days. They're booking right now. It's already been three people that booked in less than 24 hours. How long have you been in so far? Uh, for about a week. Okay. And then you got your Thumbtack account put up. And how long after you got the Thumbtack account put up, did you get your first direct lead? Uh, the very next morning. Okay. So, and we're supposed to quote them for around, what, 2,500 to 3,000 today? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So, um, he's going to introduce himself, but this is for party buses. I keep telling you guys that party buses are hot. Like everybody thought that party buses was killed off, uh, during, during, during Snowvid, if we want to call it Snowvid, the scandemic, but they still make a lot of money. Anytime people want to uh, get out the house, have an experience for their birthday and they got a group of the first thing you're going to think of is a party bus. It used to be like a stretch limo, you know, a stretch Hummer, you know what I'm saying? One of those pink stretch Hummers, but now it's, it's party buses now, right? So this is going to be hot for a long time until they create something else. Uh, so he, he got in, in, in a uh, copy and paste rentals, uh, program and immediately got started he's only been there for a week and i, t I try to tell people man and, and the reason why i'm making this public because usually i just make this stuff private for our private community i'm making this public because people don't understand <laughs> the power of platforms these companies are worth billions for a reason if their job is to bring leads they're gonna bring the leads you just have to be ready for it so go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody that's not already in the community all right uh my name is shaquem Masidu. i'm 29 years old and um yeah i've been in the copy and paste program for about a week and i've already got a lead and working on it my thumbtack account is set up so yeah i'm just ready to go Okay. So that's where I was at because we, we're going to teach you SEO for longevity. We're going to teach you Facebook ads and all of that stuff for scaling up. But uh, what I noticed in a lot of my older programs and stuff is, uh, you know, if a person just comes straight out from off the street. I'm trying to teach them SEO and stuff like that it is, you know, if they have some type of marketing experience, at least a year or two in the game, then it like makes sense to them. But for most people, like just straight off the street, just right off the block, like going straight into SEO and Facebook ads and stuff is intimidating to people. So I had to dig back into my box of tricks and I realized like, yo, um, <laughs> there's platforms out here and their job is to bring like service providers job. So why not just put all my students on there immediately? Because I realized that uh, with most programs, if a new person don't get a quick win, they'll give up, especially if it, the, the concept is new to them or the business model is new to them. They'll give up if they don't get a quick win. So me trying to get you guys to do SEO, that might take a little second. You doing Facebook ads is intimidating. You afraid? What if I forget my credit card is attached and I wake up and two, three hundred dollars was already spent or something? People are afraid of that. So I'm like, OK, well, these are platforms that we used to do when I used to get clients like monthly retainer clients. The first thing we did to so we can start blowing their phone up is we put them on every single directory that we can think of that didn't require us some type of upfront money payment type situation out of pocket. Right. And it will create this awesome experience when their phone immediately starts ringing. So like he said, he's been in the game. I mean, in the program for a week now, uh, we're getting used to each other and everybody like that. Uh, but he just put up his thumbtack account a, what a day ago or yesterday. And then uh, we got a message last night. <laughs> What'd you say last night, man? What was the message? <laughs> um, so the, the message yesterday was like, man, like I just put up my thumbtack account. And I got a, I got a lead like the very next morning. So I was like kind of scrambling because I didn't. Um, I had a, I had a couple questions about setting up the irresistible offer. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna handle all of that on here. So this is like a. Uh, review slash um, consultation type situation right now for any of you guys that's already in a program that's, that has the same question about irresistible offers and how to fulfill them and everything like that we're going to handle that and for anybody watching that was curious about getting in the copy and paste rentals program now you see how fast it'll work so this is inspiration man because um <laughs> a lot of the people that are in there already man they still have not put up their thumbtack, Shaquem. Uh, so, it, 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 and it kind of irritates me a little bit because I know, I get it that people aren't on the, they haven't been experienced the other side yet, but I know when you put it up, like you can start getting the responses super fast. And I'm just, I just want everybody to get a quick win. So with you today, uh, we're going to show his thumbtack and then I'm going to uh, see. Person request. 
it's going to be 15 people. Uh, it's for what, a school dance? School dance, yep. School dance, okay. And he had questions about that because it's not for a birthday. So we're going to modify everything live for you guys. And uh, you're going to see how he's going to be able to respond to these people. All right, Um, go ahead and show you the screen. Let's check out Thumbtack. All right. Let me see. Did I give permission? Sure. I don't know. I might need to. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and try now. Okay. So if you guys haven't gotten the copy and paste rentals uh, community, we might be cutting it off soon because the upgrade is going to um, allow us for more personal time with them. So we we just released a new upgrade. It's called AJU VIP. And we want to spend a lot more dedicated time with like each of the members if we can and everything. So we're going to cut off the private community in a second. All right. So this is his listing, Richmond Party Bus Rental. OK, so now let's check it out. This is. Rent a Richmond uh, party bus with us today and get 10% off all future birthday rentals plus a $300 restaurant voucher for your night on the town. Add to that, we'll throw in 10% off our partner's five-star hotel for the night. Ooh-wee! Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> now it's just killer. All right, guys, anybody watching this, is money is the equation for money. I don't know how good you are at math. I'm not too good at math, but I get this one right here. <laughs> Targeted traffic plus irresistible offer equals money if you go on thumbtack right so i i try to teach everybody if you're going to be put on a shelf you need to be the product about to fall off the shelf or the brightest product on the shelf so where like you know think about it when you have a business or a service you are on a dang on shelf right i i want to be the one in the grocery store with my own section you know you go in a grocery store and it'll be a new product just on on on, on stand and they have like all the stuff just set up there because it's an awesome offer going on right now i'm not trying to be colgate next to crest pepsi next to dr pepper or none of that extra stuff so your irresistible offer allows you to be in a league of your own everybody else on here is simply just putting up hey party bus reach out to us price that's it so this right here allows for some interest you understand so when you reach out to them, yeah, of course, people are curious or might even have a little bit of skepticism. When you reach out to them, this is when you present the irresistible offer again. And you simply say, through our partnerships with travel agencies and local businesses, this allows us to offer you this irresistible offer. That's it, because that will slam it down right there. We partnered with these different companies because the introduction, the reason why they'll discount their prices is because that initial introduction with that customer, if that customer enjoys their time at that hotel, that restaurant or, or the car rental place or whatever it is, they'll come back. They can become a regular customer. So this is why Groupon works. So Groupon will uh, make the business owner lower their prices like let's say your price is 200 bucks on groupon you might only be able to charge 50 bucks because groupon is going to get a cut of that but groupon also knows that if your business is good that customer will come back and pay you a full price later on right so that's that's how that's how this works okay all right so let's get back to it it says simply book with us today we guarantee the best experience or we'll take 30% off all future holidays for you. So that's the skin in the game, right? This is the risk reversal. That gives you more trust and credibility with them. Like, yo, if I don't, you know, really enjoy this, then they'll take the 30%, uh, you know, off the next time. So a lot of people don't even remember all that extra stuff, but it's just about you caring more. The company that cares the most makes the most. All right. So this makes it to where even if you're charging more than others, it's, it, it, it makes sense. Okay. This is an all inclusive package right here. So of course they'll charge more than the just standalone party bus company. Okay. All right. So with, with this, um, uh, party, or birthday party situation since this one is for a school dance all you have to do is remove the birthday element out of it and you'll just say all future rentals for a special occasion you see what i'm saying so uh you book okay. your party bus with us you get 10 percent off all future rentals plus the voucher you just pick up the rest of the the um you know the little spill right here and when they say well how is it possible for you guys to do that you reply with what i just said oh well we took the time out because we understand that you want to have an experience or you only get a birthday one or you only uh you know get this type of school day i don't know if it's homecoming i, I don't know i ain't been to school in forever <laughs> yeah. you only get homecoming or prom once in your life right so we want this to be a staple in your life uh, uh some well we older now and they don't have photo albums anymore so something for your your <laughs> your instagram for you to come back years later and be able to like remember this is a moment in time that you'll be able to travel back to and say man i ain't never did it up like that before 
hey, I got to hit them up again. So we want to create an experience. You're not purchasing a party bus. You're purchasing a life experience. And that's what you want to drill through. You're going to go viral when you post this to your Instagram because that's what they care about. You're, <laughs> you're going to, everybody that's going to be attending with you, they're all going to be like become stronger friends and family with you because you're the one that's sharing this experience with them. So this is what you want to drill through without sounding salesy. You just say, hey, we're trying to create an experience for you. You're going to eat anyway today. They got to eat anyway, right? Okay, so why not have this three hundred dollar voucher, right? You're going to, you know, I don't know, I don't know how old the kids are, <laughs> but if they're old enough, they gon' they probably don't want to go home. So a nice little hotel sounds good, or even if they just partook in one of these extra things, it just makes it look better. And the fact that now you've recreated, you created an automatic recurring customer just by telling them that they get ten percent off all future events. So who are they going to think of immediately, especially if they have a good experience? They're going to automatically you think of you and your fulfillment partner and they're going to come back whenever something happens on top of that their cousins or whoever they're inviting they're going to remember this deal this deal the offer goes viral this is word of mouth marketing at its best right here so their cousins friends whoever's going to attend is going to think of you when their events come up you see what i'm saying so you just simply replace <clears throat> Uh, uh, you just simply take out the birthday part. That's all you got to do. Hey, you know, this doesn't have to be for your birthday. You still get to take advantage of everything, right? Uh, if you don't want to go out of town or or do anything like that, you can still use the uh, the restaurant and the uh, hotel vouchers and even the car rental voucher that's going to have that's inside uh, the program. You can still use all of that locally as well. They don't have to go out of town as long as uh, everything is valid in their city. And I'm going to share the screen with you guys uh, um, in a minute, just so that you guys can see uh, one of the ways that we fulfill the, uh, the irresistible offer. Okay. Maybe you guys want to use it in something else that you're selling or doing or whatever. These things right here, when you can beef it up, pause and still give, uh, put a little, put a little skin in the game, right? That makes it to where you just, you just stand out. And my Facebook ads, every time I used to copy Facebook ads from YouTube, when people like, Oh, this this is how you do Facebook ads. It never used to work because everybody was using the same ad and all that. I'm like, yo, is this stuff even real? It didn't make sense to me. It just felt like it was fake because I'm like, how am I spending this much money not getting one response? As soon as I read a book called The Irresistible Offer, it's called The, I, the, the Homework for everybody watching this right now is to read that freaking book, okay? Get the audio book on Audible or whatever. I don't have an affiliate link, whatever. It's going to change your life. This is you. This becomes your brand identity. Whatever you're trying to sell from now on, you lead with this. People tell you about an elevator pitch. Ooh, if you only have 15 to 30 seconds with somebody that can change your life, blah, blah, blah. What would you say to them? You say your freaking irresistible offer. You yeah, lead with okay. a bold. Yes. You lead with a bold claim statement of promise. You do an offer stack and then you do risk reverse. That is what you do. And you can do that in four, three or five lines and you just shut up and look at them and they'll be stupid as hell not to take you a freaking offer. Right. So I want everybody watching this and I want you, Shaquem, to read that book and just zone in, go around and just play around, spend a day or a weekend just, just creating irresistible offers. Like take somebody else's product and see how you would be able to sell that product better than them just by adding offers that they did. I can sell to people that wasn't even trying, they weren't even in the market for it. But the offer was so good, they was like, shoot, I'm going to get this just in case they don't have the same offer <laughs> later on. Okay? So this is one of the reasons why you guys are going to get super fast responses once you put up your thumbtack, because if you just go and look at the competitors, none of their profiles have an offer. It's not a real offer. It's just a listing. So just by you doing, somebody says this, you know, it's not that difficult. I can't remember who said it. It's not that difficult. To, it might be Myron Gro uh, Golden. It might, it's not that difficult to be great in this generation. You just have to be a little bit better than the rest of the people because most people are lazy. So <laughs> if you go on there, you see 10, 20 different listings on Thumbtack. If if the customer or the client goes on there and they send 10 different listings on, on Thumbtack, the only thing that differentiates them is the price. So they start becoming a window shopper or a price shopper. But the moment they... Whoop, zone in and glare in on yours, the price kind of evaporates a little bit and they just look at that offer and they say, how the hell could they possibly do that? And then they say, well, it's listed on Thumbtack and they approved them and verified them. So it can't be a scam. Hmm. Let me message them and see how this works. And when you verify that this is real, and you got real partners and this is how we do the fulfillment. Th they like, all right, well, it's, it's hi. I can go and get it cheaper. Let me ask that question for y'all. Well, why would they go with you guys if it's more expensive when they could just go with the other people? What did I say? 
experience. They can go and get the party bus from the other people, but they can't get the experience that you're going to give them. Your, their whole day is going to be planned out with you, right? And they're going to spend that money anyway by going to the restaurant separately, by going to the hotel separately, getting the rental car separately. Why not get it all in one package? Okay, um, go ahead and ask any questions you have publicly right here so I can answer <clears> them uh, that they might have. Um, and then we'll go ahead and show the program that I just sent to you that is one way because you can also make your own partnerships and stuff just in case like this this other way that i'm gonna show you guys like breaks down you can always go and make your own partnerships and i recommend that even though you're gonna have this plug right here you still make your own partnerships because then you have more control over pricings and discounts and stuff that you can do for free for them and you just become this mad scientist of offers okay what questions do you have um as far as the listing um so when you say change the, the offer to make it make sense for this for the situation, so do you mean like change it in my overall description or just change it once I get the customer on the phone and just kind of tweak it for them? Um, when I was doing it, when I when I showed you guys this, uh, you would normally do this for Facebook ads. And brand new people doing Facebook ads usually don't have good, good results. So I teach you how to do something called life event marketing. Facebook and TikTok allows you to target people with ads who have upcoming birthdays. So that's like one of our hacks to just get anybody who's up for Facebook ads. And that's how Coach Keith got his first uh, $1,000 uh, promotion with party buses a while back. Uh, you know, in less than six hours, he targeted people who had birthdays coming up. When you got your birthday coming up, you only care about the experience. You don't care about the money. You're trying to turn up, right? Okay, so with that being said, Thumbtack does not allow us to target people by birthday or, or, or by holiday or nothing like that. So what you can do is you can change the word uh, birthday to, you know, events, uh, special occasions, um, or you can just delete that word completely and just say future rentals. It's up to you. Um, okay. The word special occasions work good, too, because most people ain't just trying to get a get a, a party bus just on a regular day, right? But you can just say all future rentals plus the $300 voucher, blah, blah, blah. But as you can see, it didn't have an effect, even though she um, is a school dance. They still was like, yo, let me check this out, right? So you yep. just want to let them know, hey, even though my listing said birthdays, you'll get 10% off all future rentals because that could be one of the things that make them say, okay, cool, because, you know, what if I wanted to do this for my anniversary or, or you, you know, something else or something, right? So just let them know all future rentals, you'll get the 10% off when you book today. All right. <clears throat> and yeah, other than that, um, just a, here's this offer. Okay, cool. So um, this is what I want you guys to do. The people that's already in the private community of copy and paste rentals, I want you guys to make sure you put your listing up. He's not the only one that should be putting it up. As soon as you get in, that's why I went inside the program. And you notice how yacht rentals used to be first that I was teaching yeah. you guys. You notice I pulled it down to where it was party buses first because a lot of people might be uh, uh intimidated to go straight into yacht rentals because it is a, a massively uh okay somebody paying you eighteen thousand dollars to book a yacht for a weekend is is different from somebody paying you three grand for a party bus so a lot of people are like man i don't know if i want to handle people's money like that you know what i'm saying i'm a little nervous and stuff like that right guess what until you get approved for pay kings guy and get your own custom gateway and everything uh you will have to collect payments so yacht rentals that's another reason why i put that one further to the back because brand new if you were to get an eighteen thousand dollar dang on uh injection into a paypal or a stripe they immediately locking your your account up and freezing that mug and probably calling the FBI or uh, no, nah, I'm just playing. But <laughs> you know, they definitely gonna go freeze it up and hold it for a while. And your partner, your fulfillment partner, the local person that actually has the yacht is not trying to hear all that. Like, yo, it's gonna be locked up for like twenty one days, but once it's once they let the money go, I'm gonna send you the money. No, cause because they got it booked for this weekend, so they got to do the fulfillment, and they can't even get that cut. Nah, they ain't trying to hear all that. So what you want to do at the beginning, guys, and, you know, I don't like to give financial advice. Let me cover my kundalini real quick. Um, I you know, am not a legal representative and um, not a financial advisor and all of those words and all, <laughs> all of that stuff, right? But what I do is just say what I do when I go into a new niche or a new field, have a new drop service and site or something like that. What we do is the beginning is manual, and you use the beginning as a resume to get your custom payment gateway. What do I mean? When you get, when you, when he gets off of this call and contacts this lady, Lord's willing, she go ahead and say, hell yes. And he, he get his first, you know, uh, uh, sale in his first week, like how Hafiz did, right? Um, he's going to send her either a cash app or a Zelle, either one. 
The Zelle looks more professional. It has a better reputation than the Cash App. You can actually send a decent looking invoice with Zelle. So especially for higher ticket stuff, I would recommend anything over 500 bucks. I would recommend sending a Zelle, even though uh, the last, uh, uh, what is it called? Surgeon I was dealing with, he sent me a Cash App for three grand. I'm like, what? And then the next day he paid for my dinner. Like he said, you and your wife go out and they said 500 more through cash app. I'm like, damn, he didn't go to a landing page. That's what it means when you have an offer. How many of y'all saw a copy and paste rental landing page crickets? Exactly. <laughs> I don't teach you what the other guru guys like all a lot of that stuff is bull crap and fluff. If you can build up trust, credibility, authority with your audience or with the client customer and you have an awesome offer for them that's going to create an experience, you don't need to do all that extra bull. Majority of my drop service and career was spent with either Google ad, SEO, um, uh, a Facebook ad going straight to Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and I'll send them an invoice on PayPal through there. No landing page, no nothing, right? So, <laughs> which, which brings me to another point. Uh, every Monday in the in a, um, in a AJU private community, uh, we just released the schedule for you guys. Um, every Monday, a new course will be unlocked inside that uh community that you don't have to pay for so i guess i'll go ahead and drop uh the no funnel fortunes program in there if you're really zoned in with copy and paste rentals then just keep doing that but i like like to get uh, give other people opportunities to you know test other in income streams out or add them on and everything like that. But I recommend those of you who are doing copy and paste rentals to just zone in and focus on that. Um, but I was just saying for the people that's not in copy and paste rentals, that's an incentive for you to get in there every Monday. Of course, that I've charged two, three, five thousand dollars for will be released to my the citizens of AJU <laughs> in there, right? So I'm gonna spoil them. I'm gonna spoil them. Okay, so. With Thumbtack right here, guys, um, that's pretty much it. So he's trying to get on the knot. Uh, the knot is another site similar that generates leads more for like wedding events, wedding transportation and all of that stuff. So once you add your offer to multiple of these, like technically you could just live off of Thumbtack to tell you the truth. But <laughs> once you add your offer to the knot, uh, the wedding wire, uh, what's the other one? Groupon and you get your Google My Business uh, or a Google Business profile listing up. I mean, this is all before you even try to apply it in, uh, apply any Facebook or Google ads. Like this is that's what I was trying to like the point I was trying to emphasize to on YouTube. This is real business. I know y'all are like hit all day with make money online. This, that, this, ooh, this ebook, this, that. No, this is real actual business, real business. He's he became a third party service provider when he got into copy pays rentals. They sign up to become a third party service provider, similar to an Airbnb. Airbnb doesn't own any of the properties. They just promote them for the host and bring them traffic and they get sales. Turo, same thing. People want to make money renting out their cars. They uh, attract people to come to the platform and boom, sales. This is the model. Okay. So this is real actual business. So get your mind out of the, Ooh, there's affiliate marketing. Ooh, we send the link right here. No, 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 no. This is real business. These people are going to be building real brands. Soon I'm going to have you guys uh, have your own platform, not just a, a landing page site type situation. You're going to graduate to creating your own actual platforms, similar to a Airbnb, similar to a Turo. And you're going to like dominate locally with your directory. It's called a directory site. Okay. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do, go ahead and, sh uh, well, you still already got your screen. Go to, go to marketing boost real quick. Okay. Sure. Website. Yeah. Go to marketing boost real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a manual way of doing this, but for you guys, uh, what I did was I went back to one of my old partners so that I can introduce them to you guys. All right. So marketing boost, they literally did all the hard work. Okay. You'll be able to find a link to this under this uh, video and a pinned comment. If you want to go through me, you don't have to. You can go and Google it just like he did. Right. Um, they did all the work. So remember what I said, hey, you you create the offer stack by making all these different partnerships that they wouldn't be able to get. You control the supply and the demand. OK, so if you make all these different partnerships to create the Frankenstein offer that your other so-called competitors are not even competitors at this point, didn't do the work to do. It's not that they can't do it. They just didn't feel like it. They didn't think to do it. Oh, I got my party bus. I put it on thumbtacks. Things should work. No, 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 no. You can call a travel agency. That's what these people did. They called travel agencies, airlines. Um, my bad, that's a norm. They called hotels. They called car rental places. They called the hotels in all these different countries and places and was like, what are your slow days? They called the restaurants in all of these different places and was like, what are your slow days? Oh, nobody comes in on Tuesdays and Thursdays in your restaurant? Okay, if I sent people there 
and told them that if they just bought a drink, you would give them a free burger or something like that. How would that work? Like on average, would they become a regular customer? If, would they have a good experience? Oh yeah, cool. So do I have permission to send people there for that? Yes, good. So that's what these people did. They like spent years making all of these connections to get better like offers and deals and stuff through vacations and hotels and dealerships and all of this extra stuff so that they can create this platform right here. Like I said, you can do that. You can literally go to Google and, and write down all the hotels, restaurants <laughs> and all of that stuff, call them and make your own deals. You can definitely do that. But this company right here, I think it's only what, what $37 a month. You can literally give away unlimited vacation. So how does that work? Hmm. Like I said, in certain countries, for example, when I went to Mexico during during Snowbit, during the scandemic of 2020, when everybody else was hiding under the bed and covering their face like that, me and my family fled the uh, country of Babylon that you guys are living in right now. We fled Babylon when they was like, oh, if you go to the if you go to the airport, you're going to die, man. You're going to get the you're going to get the <laughs> we went, we rode right through that. The cheapest flights ever because everybody was scared. I think we paid two dollars to get the message. I'm just going, but it was super cheap. So when we got to Mexico, we were able to immediately live on the beach. Right. And, and like right off like the beach in front, like, hold on. First, the one we were the one we were in first, it was Airbnb. The front yard was the ocean. Right. And then we uh, moved to a more family style. I didn't want to stay at a, a resort. We moved to a family style like house. Right. So we had a, a pool in the front yard. And then in front of that was the freaking ocean. Right. <laughs> but it was cheap. It was it was it's usually uh, it was usually what, eight to ten grand to stay at these places a month. Right. But since it was hurricane season, now nah, I don't recommend you do. <laughs> I didn't know it was hurricane season. I had no idea. They got my black butt. You hear me? Like, but since it was hurricane season, them Airbnbs was open. I'm like, yo, don't nobody want to stay here. Like our neighbors were going and stuff. We, we just sitting there looking stupid, right? <laughs> but, but it was only twenty four hundred dollars a month. To some people, that sounds like a lot. From eight to ten grand, you staying right off the beach for twenty four hundred a month, right? Like, yo. So my point is, a lot of these places will make these deals with you are with this site right here simply because of seasons and slow days and all of that they want to be able to still get money like okay so they'll call a motel and they'll say yo how many vacancies do you have on average well we got these three rooms that we can never rent out okay i'm gonna give those rooms away for free but what else do you have that you can make money there oh well we got a restaurant or a cafe we got a gift shop uh we got a casino downstairs that we get money from okay cool so you if i fill up these rooms those people will go downstairs and they'll need something to eat too right yeah for sure okay deal there we go so now i can give away free hotel rooms you see how you can manually do this too so I'm, I'm wording it so that you guys know that even if you didn't want to use this platform you can manually make those deals now for you cheapos i didn't say cheap hoes i said cheapos <laughs> Okay. I'm a man of God. Okay. <laughs> for you cheapos, I, uh, you know, I apply the principles of leverage and I teach everybody that I come across to use leverage. These people already did it. So what's, what's the need for me to go and do it? Unless it's on a city or a state that doesn't have any busy. Called marketing boost. You experience a huge sale boost with whatever you're using. Uh, realtors that use this, like when I was doing um, client work, slave work for real estate agents and stuff, this is one of the things that I apply to their advertising. Uh, at the beginning, they were a little scared until they realized how many leads it brought in. When I told a, a homeowner, yo, when you sell your home with us, you're going to get a seller's vacation, all right? Instead of it being a sad um, uh, event, a sad, oh man, we got. What do you call it? Um, I can't even think of uh, sentimental value in this home and all that. We can create this type of celebratory uh, uh, experience for them. Hey, we're going to send you off. Get out of town for a little minute. And when you come back, I even made uh, deals with grocery stores. I made deals with uh, what do you call them? Uh, furniture rental place. When you come back, you're going to have your, your food in your house for, uh, filled up for the first month. We're going to uh, cover your cable and Internet. I had this little hack where I can get cable and internet for free, right? And we're going to uh, furnish your, your house, for your new house that you're going to for super cheap. So technically, you can throw all that stuff in storage and sell it off if you want to, if you want to. And we're going to cover all that. So go get out of town, enjoy yourself. And when you come back, here's the keys to your new home or, you know, here's the, the money for the home that you sold, blah, blah, blah. So the realtors that I was dealing with, like, 
just by me creating an irresistible offer for their clients, it automatically made me an irresistible offer to work with the realtors. So I was able to get like hella realtors to want to work with me, right? So my point is, guys, by leveraging stuff like this, beefing up your offers, creating irresistible offers, it makes it to where your sales become effortless. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and stroll down. These are the USA uh, locations right here. They have Atlanta, Atlantic City, Albuquerque, Branson, Boston, Chicago, Cape Cod, Charleston, Colorado Springs, Daytona, Fort Lauderdale, Galveston, Grand Canyon, Gulf Shores, Hot Springs, Las Vegas, Lake Tahoe. So basically all of the main places people would go on vacations. This is why I say like you really don't need to go and like manually make these deals. Any, anywhere that most people want to go to with major landmarks, they already did it. Then they got the United Kingdom, the UK. What's that? Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow, London. They got Hawaii, my birthplace, Waikiki, uh, six days, five nights, Buenos Aires in Argentina, uh, Australia. Damn, they got hella places in Australia. Okay. Yes, Austria, Brazil. You hear me? That's a hot spot right there. So imagine being able to like guarantee this in your advertising, guys. Like when you're putting up any of your copy and paste rentals or whatever, or whatever you sell, your ebook or whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Even though that one will be a, you'll really have to do a little bit more explaining if you're trying to sell an ebook and you promise them a vacation. You know, this works better with when coupling it with high ticket stuff, stuff that's already expensive. It works better with that because it makes sense. But a person buying a $10 ebook wouldn't, you know, see how you're going to profit they'll be thinking what are you getting out of this just this 10 bucks like well how would you be able to afford to send me out here right but if you're selling something that's already high ticket like a, a home or you got some exotic car rental or something they can see oh well maybe he's taking a little cut out of that or something right so you just don't want their mind to wander too much okay so we got five days four nights in fiji i ain't never been to fiji yet man i definitely want to check that one out not during hurricane season though france we got germany with brussels and berlin uh, what's that? Was that Japan up there? Yeah, it was Japan. Okay, cool, cool. So that they got some new places, man. All right, so now Malaysia, Amsterdam. I don't even want to go there. Just to Dublin. I think I'll check that one out. Uh, Greece. I hear a lot about the uh, Santorini. I don't, I don't even think we got a lot of history in Athens, though. Our people do, you know, ancient history. So I might have to go there. We got India, Indonesia. That's a big spot. They got a lot of marketers and and, uh, you know, social media, you know, people and influencers. They live there. We got Mecca right there. Jerusalem, the hometown, our hometown. OK, uh, Singapore. OK, Italy. And we are reaching the bottom. OK, Mexico right there. We got Cancun. <laughs> I was in Clydesdale Corman, so they didn't. They still don't have that one. I was hella mad. I'm like, damn, they ain't got one for Clydesdale Corman. Okay, uh, Philippines, no seaboard Philippines, mm. Moscow, and Cape Town in Africa. We got Spain, Barcelona, that's cool, and Sweden. I don't know. Bangkok for show, show, Pattaya, Istanbul, Dubai. I already know all you fake Instagram models might want to check that one out. Okay, so <laughs> that's li that's literally that's literally it, guys. Do y'all see? And, and like, and when you log in, you're gonna see. You're going to be able to, um, let's say that you're running some ad and you tell people, yo, when you book through me, you're automatically going to get an email um, showing you how to clean your vacation incentives and your savings on cars and hotels and all of that extra stuff. You log in. You're going to be able to send it. You're going to click on the vacation that they picked out. So what you want to do is you want to ask them, hey, where you want to go? <laughs> Which we show them. You, you don't have to show. You don't have to send them to this site because then they'll try to like go around you or something like that. Right. Yeah. Unless you just want them to. Right. <laughs> but you can screenshot all the places or just text them a list of all the places that you service, right? Or uh, that we have these deals in or these vacations in. And you tell them, hey, which place you want to go to? That used to be my opening line. When they used to come into my uh, Facebook ad, the first question in my chat bot was automatically, all right, which, what's your destination? Which place you want to go to? And they'll pick it. This gets them excited immediately. Like, yo, I mean, <laughs> which place you want to go to? They start dreaming, right? And then you go from there, right? Okay, so I got to let him go ahead and get to this sale so he can close his first deal. Lars will, everybody like pray and let's see if he get his first deal. Remember, all you got to do is simply repeat the irresistible offer. If they ask a skeptical question, simply say, the reason we can do this is through our partnerships with the local restaurants, hotels, and travel agents. All you got to say. Then you say debit or credit or cash out. You are, I mean, not care. You say Zelle or cash out. If you're doing Zelle, well, if you're doing either one of them, you still need their email, right? So you just get their email. You send them the invoice. Boom. Right. Oh, I have to say something for all of you that are already in copy and paste. One thing he's uh, learning now, you need to make your partnerships first. Get your fulfillment uh, partners aware first. They're not clients, so you don't need them to pay you anything or nothing like that. So it's very simple. You just contact them, see what their prices are. 
if their prices don't allow you um, a, a big enough margin or whatever, see, hey, say, I'm going to be sending you a lot of people for free. What's the best deal you can give me? I know you think you need to charge all high, but if I'm sending you, you'll make up for it if I'm sending you five, 10 people per week. So what's the best deal you can give me? Don't give me 200 per hour or none of that stuff you'll give somebody else. If I'm sending you a lot of people, what's the best deal you can give me? Okay, so then they 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 might either they usually don't like to talk people down from their regular prices because they start feeling less than their worth and all of that stuff and mess with their ego and all of that. But if you just have to, if there's nobody else in the area and you want to make sure you get profit and stuff, then just say, yo, what's the best you can give me? What's the most you can take off where it won't eat into your, you know, your expenses, your overhead, and all of that extra stuff? And then now you take those three or four partners. You want to make multiple partners. That way you got options. That way you got inventory. That way you always got someone available to do the job. Okay. So you make multiple partners and then you literally, you just shop the offer. Hey, I got this lady that gave me, um, you know, you just tell them how much they're going to get. She gave me two grand and it's for a five hour block. Who wants to do it? I'm showing this to five different people. So reply back to me immediately. And whoever reply back, that's who you send the $2,000 to. And then you keep the thousand dollars for yourself. End of transaction until that person comes back again. Okay. All right. Okay, if you have any more questions, man, then just go ahead and DM. It'll either be me or it'll be customer support. Anybody that's watching this right now, man, do you suggest that they get into copy and paste rentals or do you think it'll be too difficult? Yes, 100%, especially for the price that it's at now. I would say definitely get in wise, why still uh, pretty low because it's definitely worth it. Okay, that's where I was at. All right, man. So you can go in there, you can like modify your listing. Don't change too much. You can just take that birthday word out if you want to, but okay. reach out to her immediately. Just go ahead. Any uh, So anybody watching right now, also, if you didn't make your partnership yet and you got a lead, don't be holding off and don't be afraid. Just call that lead. Get get the money because guess what? There's such thing as a refund. So let's say worst case scenario, you collect the money, you contact the partners and nobody is available for that day. Guess what you can do? You can give that lady or that man a refund. So don't ever to collect the payment. When that lead comes in, you immediately take the money and then do the fulfillment. This is if you didn't make the partners already. If you made the partners already, you should know, you know, their inventory, their fleet, you know, the days that they charge the most, the days that they have deals on, you should already have all that together. Okay. Put it on a document or some file or whatever you got to do. That way you, when the orders come in, you can just assign, assign the job. Okay. All right. All right, so you guys on the inside, hey, man, I'm going to release that uh, new course in the community in a couple of hours, so be looking out for that if you want to. Okay, cool. We'll do. All right, talk to you later. All right, peace. Quick update for those who stayed to the end. This brother did not get that first quote that he sent out, but many more will come after this, and he will get his first deal soon. Those of you ready to get in copy and paste rentals community and get fast results, go ahead and take advantage in the first pan comment.